Okay, welcome back to one of my videos. Uh, today I'm just going to do a short hunt in my area. And I'm actually going to hunt this grassy knoll. You know, it separates the uh, apartment complex here and here where I live. And you can see it's a nice big grassy area. And I've already pulled out about five bucks worth of change out of this one area. And I've only done half of this lawn right here. So, you know, I'm going to see what I, when I popped up. I've already taken three little hot wheels. A fake Avon ring, which I'm really kind of ticked about because it looks really nice. And, uh, you know, a bunch of change out of here, so we'll see what happens. And this is my first find of the day. A nice little hot wheel. I just plugged a little grass spot right here where I've already dug it up. And that's yeah, a cool little find. First hot wheel of the day. Wish it was a change or a ring, but we'll find out. So stick with me. Okay, my second hit within about two seconds from when I just hit my last one. and wish it was a coin because it keeps coming up around a 42 on my detector, which is, you know, in a higher, uh, you know, silver range or quarter range. But it also picks up pretty good for Hot Wheels, so I recommend this, you know, detector for Hot Wheels if you're out there and that's what you want to go for. So... Alright, second hot wheel, no coin yet. Next. Okay, <clears throat> here's another hit, and this is slowly starting to become a video more about hot wheel finding than anything. And it's going to be my next hit. Man, I wish I had some younger kids, and I'd be making them one heck of a happy daddy. So. Alright, on with my next hunt. Okay, this is going to be my first hit of the day. And it's going to be a 1995 penny. Alright, let's find some more. <clears throat> okay, another coin hit. And today's little change is going to be. Whoa. It's gonna be a dime. 1980. 1980 dime. Yeah, that works. Yep. 1980. Next. Okay, this is gonna be my next hit. And I get to score another penny. That's a regular memorial. And it's a uh, two thousand and two. Yep. Next coin. Okay, I'm I'm really going over the same ground that I'm going and uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing it is because I'm actually uh, I readjusted the settings on it so that it's a little bit more sensitive and shallow ground it's one of the nice features about this uh, Xterra 70 and I missed it because I didn't have it you know really set right yesterday and it's an ongoing learning process and I'm finding penny after penny quarters uh, dimes you name it I even found a Chuck E. Cheese token woohoo so we'll see what happens well, here's something that I wouldn't normally show, but shows you what you can find. And uh, for all those people that are uh, young in generation, I think you can pretty much sum up what this is. I ain't gonna go into too heavy of details. Yeah, at least they lost it and had to struggle. That's all I care about, I hate that. All right, next hit. Okay, we're actually on the uh, second lawn here. And it's gonna be a nice dime hit. And it's gonna be a, uh, ah, good question. The 1991, somewhere around there. Anyway, on to the next one.
Okay, just another exciting penny hit. And right here. Wish I could get a lot more, you know, dimes and nickels and quarters and stuff like that, because these pennies are starting to drive me crazy. <laughs> Alright, next hit. Okay, so this is the end of my video. And just wanted to show you guys what I got out of, you know, the section of uh, grass in my com apartment complex. Mind you, this place is about, you know, 900 units, so uh, there's plenty of grass to hunt. And today, basically, I got myself a Canadian penny. Ooh. One stupid Chuck E. Cheese token. God, I hate these things. a stupid mouse. There you go. 50 cents in quarters and 30 cents in dimes and I stopped counting on my pennies. And it's probably about 25, 30 cents here or so. So it's not a bad little hunt for, you know, actually about three hours, three hours and 15 minutes. I actually got bored and started, you know, stopped digging up all the darn pennies. Tried to concentrate on you know, actually picking up you know dimes and nickels and quarters, but it's kind of faded out. So that's pretty much the end of my video. You know, and that shows you how good this X Terra 70 is. So try your luck sometime. Enjoy.